an Iowa man says he may have been the last person to see missing University of Iowa student Molly Tibbetts before her mysterious disappearance weeks ago from a rural state town I wish I did know more, but I dread that maybe I was the last person to see her," Devin Riley told ABC's Good Morning America in an interview published Thursday Riley said he contacted the Powashiat County Sheriff's Office in central Iowa after the 20-year-old college student was reported missing, telling authorities he believed he saw her the night she vanished See also we can get her home, missing student's dad thinks she's with someone she knows the father of missing Iowa college student Molly Tibbetts believes The man said that Tibbetts jogged past his house at about 8 p.m. on July 18 with her hair in a ponytail I remember her, Riley said she was wearing like a neon pink sports bra with black khaki yoga pants and an armband with her music device, her phone, hair and a ponytail, just jogging like normal, any other day He added that it would probably be three four times a week she jogs down the street That night, Riley said, she jogged down the street, up the hill, and there's just nothing of it until I heard somebody was missing, and it really hit me, and I haven't seen that runner since then When Riley made the realization he called the police with the tip and noted that he was questioned, and investigators even searched his home It was pretty terrifying at the beginning because I didn't know what was going on, he said I panicked and I put my girls in the bathroom, but they were really polite, just did the walkthrough and were out in like 10 to 15 minutes The disappearance of Tibbet struck a chord with Riley it's gut-wrenching to know I could have my daughter out here and I go inside for a minute and she's gone You just do not expect it from a town like this The rising so foul Moore was last seen jogging through her hometown of Brooklyn, Iowa, about 70 miles east of Des Moines, on July 18 She was reported missing the next day when she didn't show up to her job at a daycare center Blake Jack, the brother of Tibbetts' boyfriend, Dalton Jack, told Fox News on Wednesday that there was no sign of struggle at his brother's Brooklyn, Iowa, home the day before she vanished She's small, but she would have done something, Blake Jack said he described the small town of 1,400 as a place where residents are comfortable enough to not lock their doors If something happened while on a run, people, like you see right now, our neighbors are outside and would have heard something, he said Tibbet's boyfriend has been ruled out as a suspect in the case Meanwhile, a newly released video of Tibbetts shot the day before her disappearance has shed some light on her state that day The short clip, which was shared by her fellow camp counselor Jared Rose, shows Tibbetts in a good mood, laughing and giggling A reward fund for the safe return of Tibbetts has grown to more than $300,000 